Hello, 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 and welcome to another Rangaroo cast, me Rangaroo, and today we are doing a 1v1 in hell in a very small place. This replay was sent in to me by a guy called Multiple Mare, but he didn't specify uh, who he was, so I don't exactly know. So anyway, on left hand side, in red, playing as Redfall, we got Von Motki. And on the right hand side on blue, but don't be surprised, he's always playing Redfall. We got our KKA Putin187, and I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't playing a Soviet deck. As usual, let's just speed things up and get things going. This is a little bit more of a shorter match, so let's see how things go. Sometimes the length is not all that really matter if you, uh, if you catch a drift. And array. We go. Yeah, it does seem like Putin is playing Russian deck. It's sending quite a big heavy force up top. The Osas, a TAT, a BMPT, T64A, infantry. Sending a BV and a recon guy to the middle. And just down bottom, some infantry and a BTRD. With Von Molotuk, who seems to be playing a Czechoslovakian deck. Not even Eastern Bloc. Maybe? No, I think I might be Eastern Block. Yeah, Eastern Block, my bad. It's a lot of Czech unit, show. Got some good girl and Moderna going mid. MI25 was doing the same thing. Some infantry following up. And doesn't seem to be sending much infantry up top. So uh, Putin's definitely going to be able to roll on right. Ah, never mind. They haven't got to his crossroad yet. Thought they'd turn here. But here we go. Yeah, yes, he's sending quite a few stuff up top. The real kind of pram and... Some BMP2 guys. That transport just getting wrecked right off the bat. The BTR80 doing a good job. And here comes the rest of the reinforcements. And that's going to be a lot of heavy armor. Going to be pain in the arse to deal with. Off on more two. Getting into Bravo relatively fast. Not even sending any infantry into Bravo from Putin's side. It's completely ignoring the point. So it's really going to push hard in the middle on top to take his match. He's getting infantry now. We've got to get the BV and the BRDM3 going at it on the LSTRs. We have exposed themselves. No BPP spec now. The spec to car. Bring out BRDM. And the Moderna moving up. Using this auto cannon to great effect. They're going to be falling back as the VDV is closer. TA2 just dominating the open ground. Definitely gonna beat yeah, real kinda head on for like hour ago. It does go it does it does die. They got Tunguska. Oh, managed to shoot down the MiG-27 move the cannon, even though you usually shouldn't keep the cannon on unless you can like hurry it properly. The cannon on the Tunguska is really bloody powerful. It does a great job against airplanes. It's just very accurate. I think also the sound of drones sounds bloody powerful. And T64A backing out and one from getting time from three point. That's got LACRs and more choosing those specs and has brew. Getting some good sniper shots over to get hit by the BMPs. And honestly the push at the top isn't actually going all that well, even though Putin had all that armor. And then T64A now behind him and in the ATU having to fall back. He's getting two BMPTs, quite a hefty investment, yeah. As the Molsutians just roll on through, very scary. And honestly, Vaughn has a very good position. He has middle under his control. Bravo's completely uncontested. And he's slowly pushing Putin out of golf. Some very good offensive player. Definitely making use of the specialty of Eastern Bloc. Is that against Russia, Eastern Bloc infantry is a lot better in terms of price and firepower. Well, Putin is going to have to rely on using VDVs, Spetsnaz, and honestly, a lot of BMPTs and other fire support vehicles still with these crap tons of mod shooting. The BMP2 does manage to chase down that retreating Osa. Very good kill there. And moving his mod shooting through Bravo, so there's nothing to really stop him. And heck, he could probably plant a few ATGM guys at the edge of his forest. 
try to snipe some stuff as it moves down the road. Got a Sierra 30 going in, sniping the BV. Very clean kill here. Yeah. Yeah, this is just not looking good for Putin. I mean, his middle is completely exposed. I mean, that, yeah, that CV is definitely, definitely could easily go down. He really has to make something happen up top. This is where the bulk of his money and the force has been dedicated to. But the world's shooting are holding strong. It's better for not to keep moving up from the turn on, kind of killing out infantry. He's chasing more shootings. Yeah, I see how I prefer to go on in for a strafe and run. Man to kill one BMPT. But Putin is going to be moving on forward. And now he's managed to clear out the more shootings. It should be a run of easy to retake Gulf. He does have a Spetsnaz. Okay, he has a little bit more pressing issues. Charlie's. Getting slowly encroached here. Got the Moderna in a very good spot. And a K29 dropping in. Probably some Russian Marines. And a C64A earlier behind enemy lines. Going out it. Uh, transport. But the Sierra 30 going to be coming in. Managed to get the kill. Now T64 does bite the dust. The Akron 4 on being brought up a pretty decent mid range intercept. Yeah, you actually don't see that water often anymore, as most people would just prefer to get the PD. I mean, crap, it's been a long time since I've seen a Yak 1 for 1. And they've got the Russian Marines here, the Moshul Cup, I think the Pontes. I'm going to be supporting the helicopter. Don't get shot up by the auto cannon. And the Super Beard Tunguska. I don't want to fall back here, but the KA-29 does have that very nice 10 HP. A Russian speciality, that is. I don't really think there's any blue for helicopter that does have 10 HP. Maybe the Chinook or the Seahawk? But I think I say, hmm. I know, you guys probably proved me wrong, but... I definitely think there's no blue for helicopter that does have 10 HP. Unless it's something obscure. Back one for one going on to Sierra, but getting hit up by the Tunguska. Too bad there's no seed here, because this Tunguska is ripe open to attack. Not even bothering to turn off the guns. You've got a second BV being brought up. Well, I see it's the same BV, it's just refueling. And I believe this is, yeah, it's only the 110 point run. It's not too bad. Decent AP. The ATGM is rather standard and pretty decent frontal armor. But it is no year, it can't go up against that Moderna. And honestly, this is just not looking good for Putin. Man to get a few snipes and fox drop. Yeah, just a bit of maneuvering play here. I mean this is pretty much just gonna go to a one mod. One mode, so I'm just gonna speed this up a bit more. Now, Spets and Screw getting some sniper salt chair. There's a special Jadnod Keys chasing through out the town. Got another BV and a U. Definitely enough armor to probably take out that Moderna. And it's nothing too scary anti tank rise as well, so they just need to move up and. One big force and I've done it. It does get that one. Oh, and there's a Sierra or something on the other. I think I was the Act 4 1. Barely managing to escape. Yeah, that tank was just run horribly. The SU 25 coming in. Getting shot down. That Tunguska is on fire. I mean, it's almost out of, it's almost out of cannon ammunition. You don't see at all dropped and hasn't even fired a single <laughs> missile. The little Tunguska at could. And the SU-24 finally bringing up some sheep and healing with that Tunguska. But a little bit too late. It's better than us holding their ground. CV to check 
Charlie. One final big push to go. And that will be a good game on Motoki taking the victory by 700 or more 690 points if you want to be exact. But yeah, it's a rather short game, but it was I think it was a pretty good lesson because Putin, he was playing the standard Jurassic deck and he didn't really take advantage of the super heavy tanks that you have. Even though Eastern Block, Duvalos Modernas and other very nice tanks, the UM and the BU or T-72BU, whatever, always reign supreme. And you've really just got onto an infantry fight with Von Moltke in the forest and whatnot. And uh, it just doesn't usually work. And that's one big problem playing Russia compared to Eastern Bloc. Is that your infantry is garbage because it's either way too expensive or they don't come in cheap transport. Which can be a rather pain in the ass. So Von Moltke managing to move through the forest, stick to the cover, use his mod shootings. I do sorry about the noise upstairs. And use cover to his advantage to rail, push through and win the match using the Sierra and other planes quite effectively to snipe the tanks. If Putin got a bit more AA and maybe tried to stick to the open ground engagement, he did do a very good job pushing in Gope at the start, but he just didn't have the momentum. If he could have held that left down side and had that open field with hold like the open field area and have eyes on that with his tanks, he would have been good. But yeah. Long story short, it really just comes to Von Moltke doing better infantry play because this deck is more suited towards that. I'm going to leave it on that. This has been another Rangaroo cast. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as usual, please just take it easy.